Hello Tech Time Travelers. This is a Southwest Technical Products KVD-1. This keyboard was first introduced in the April 1974 edition of Popular Electronics. And this keyboard is very important because in the first couple of years when the microcomputing or home or personal computing revolution was getting started in the early to mid 70s, there weren't really any options for hobbyists to uh, you know, buy a keyboard for whatever project that they were working on. If you were building a computer terminal like the TV typewriter or a new microcomputer and you needed a keyboard, the best option that you had was something like this, which is basically what they would have called a surplus keyboard. And these came from retired terminals like this uh, Sanders 720. And you had to take the thing apart and adapt it to whatever particular use you had in mind. And not all of these keyboards were very easily adaptable either. So Don Lancaster shows up in April of 1974 with this project and note this uh, subheading here, build for under $40. Don was very big on doing amazing things with electronics on the cheap. And yeah, this is the basic article here. And then what you could do is you could write in for plans, which they would mail to you like this and this would be rehashed the article and kind of explained how to test it out. And then in the back here, you had your, your layout for the keyboard as well as PCB artwork because a lot of hobbyists back then rolled their own, so to speak. Uh, so they would make their own PCBs and then just order whatever other parts they needed to put the thing together. Now, a lot of hobbyists didn't do that. They just paid the $39 to get their kit. And this is what you would get from Southwest Technical Products, just a box like this. And if we open it up here, there it is. It's quite tiny. Just listen to that. <laughs> Love that. You don't have a lot of keys. That's probably in keeping with keeping things inexpensive. There's no function keys, there's no number pad. Uh, you do have a couple of keys over on the right here, which were just general purpose. So you could use these to create your own custom special functions. And it's pretty cheap. Like the uh, key switches are nothing to write home about. A lot of hobbyists complained about the reliability of the key switches, the fact that things jiggled around. And another thing that annoyed them was that it had the greater and less than symbols oriented the wrong way for some reason. But still, $39 versus like hundreds or thousands of dollars to buy a brand new one. And that was if somebody would sell you one. And yeah, it's just so cool to hold this in my hands. That is the Southwest Technical Products KBD-1, folks.